talk about the water pick. When it's coming to choosing the type of water pick that you wanna choose, the countertop ones are the best option. Um, our favorite brand or our favorite model is the Aquarius. You can either order them online or you can get them at your local store. So it just depends on what the store carries versus what the online store carries. So like I said, they do have different models. They have a cordless model. It's a lot bulkier on the handle. Um, the reservoir is really small, so you should be filling it three to four times when you're doing your mouth. Going through one reservoir of water on that is not enough time to get the bacteria out. So the other thing with the cordless one, it only has a low and high power setting. You have to use it on high for it to be effective because the low power setting is 50 PSI, not enough to pull out the bacteria. The high is 75 PSI, that's enough to pull out the bacteria because we want 60 to 70 PSI to pull out that bacteria. They have one that has a whitening tablet, you can put it in. They do have a travel one, it's called a Sidekick. It compacts on itself, it's really small. Great little unit. Um, I mean, you could use it at home if you wanted to, if you wanted a really small unit. They do have a kid's one. It's recommended for anyone of any age that can learn how to use it. It's with braces. They should be using it every day. So this is the Aquarius model. It's the countertop one. On off switch on the wand, on off switch on the unit. And then there's this button to go between floss and massage. I keep it on floss all the time. This is your pressure dial from one to 10. We'll get into this and the rest of this. So when you open this up, there are directions in here, but most people just kind of chuck them in the trash. So here's your directions. So you'll get a variety of tips. There will be five to seven different tips that you get. You get the standard tip. There'll be two or three of these in your pack. This is your crown and bridge tip. It's got three little fingers on it that help clean around the teeth. These are kind of like three little small brushes. Again, another standard tip. This one is one for braces. It's got a lot of stiff bristles around the end of that. This is for orthodontics. This is one that's considered a brush. This will not brush your teeth, let's be real. Um, it's too tiny and it doesn't vibrate. So, I mean, you can brush your tongue with this if you want, the water shoots out of the center of it. This one I would tell you if you're going to use it, I'd use it on a pressure of a 10. Um, so, Because when the water comes through the bristles, it'll actually slow down its power. And again, we'll get into the power modes and the reason you'd use this on a 10. This one's considered a perio pick. It's a soft rubber tip. It's meant for people that have periodontal disease, gum disease. It's meant if you have periodontal pockets that are seven millimeters or higher. This has a regulator on it here. So the pressure on this one only goes to a two. This is not a tip you use for every single tooth. It is for usually localized areas in your mouth, one, two to four teeth. Uh, most of our patients do not use this except for a handful of teeth in their mouth. So that's your perio pick. Now oh, this one, because I said it's got a self-regulator on it of a pressure of a two. When you use this, you will turn your dial on your unit down to a two. And again, we'll get into the pressure in a second. So in all sense of the water pick, your standard tip, this does all the work for you. So this is the only one you'll ever need. Uh, water pick recommends you change these, I believe every three months or so, kind of like your toothbrush. Um, but it's just a little plastic standard tip, okay? If you never picked up a string of floss again, I don't care. Uh, you'll have different opinions depending on who you talk to. So now let's talk about your actual water pick. So mine's not plugged in yet, but we'll get there. So this is the model. This lifts up. This is your reservoir that comes off. You fill this with water to the top, to that top line. You put it back in. You close the lid. You're ready to go. So one thing to remember with this, yes, I use this every day, so you can tell the splash marks inside. Warm water in the reservoir. Do not use cold, it hurts your teeth. Do not use hot, it hurts your teeth. So you wanna get like warm, you can use tap water, you can use bottled water, you can use spring water, doesn't matter, filtered, doesn't matter, whatever you wanna do. If you're in a place that you have hard water and you wanna clean this out because you use tap water, you can put vinegar in here. You would pop this top off. Why can't I do this easy? So 
you'll just push this button, pull the tip off. So I tell everyone to put vinegar in, you know, about halfway, turn this on, turn this on, put this end into the sink and run half the vinegar through and let it sit in the line and it'll clean the hard deposits out of here. Let it sit in there an hour, two hours, eight hours overnight, then come back, run it through, fill this with hot water two times and flush it out. And then you'll push your tip back on and you're ready to go. So you can do that every three months, every six months, whatever you feel like. If you feel that it's getting clogged or blocked with hard water deposit. So now let's get to talking about this pressure dial. So this goes from one to 10. It measures in PSI like the pressure in your tire of your car. So 10 to 100. When you use this, this is designed that this goes obviously 10 PSI all the way up to 100 PSI. We want you at a six or seven PSI. I keep mine in an eight, that's where I like mine. The reason for this is when the water's pumped through here, it creates pressure and water. You put it at the side of your teeth, and I'm gonna demonstrate that, but it creates a vacuum, siphoning. So if you think of siphoning gas from one bucket to another, how hard you have to suck on the hose to get the water out of there or the gas out of there to get it flowing, that's what this is using. So if you have a low pressure when it goes through your teeth, all that's happening is you're wetting the, the tooth surfaces and the bacteria and the plaque and the food debris, you're not sucking anything out. So this has to go to a six or seven so that when the water hits the side of the tooth, it creates that vacuum in the pocket and pulls out plaque, bacteria, and food debris. So anything lower, it's not effective for you. So I recommend to everybody, start at a one or a two. And every time you use it, turn it up one number until you get to that six or seven. If your mouth is really inflamed, if you're really infected, if you have gum disease, if you have severe gingivitis, your gums are gonna bleed. Now, the more you do this and the more bacteria you remove, the less painful your gums become and the less bleeding that you have. So that's what you have to remember. If you haven't been to the dentist in a really long time and you start using one of these and your gums, gums bleed and then they stop, you still could have infection present you're just flushing out the bacteria that's just overgrowing and soft. There can still be hard deposits on your teeth. So maintaining your mouth, this is extremely beneficial. But even if you want to go to the dentist and you haven't been in a while and you're like, I'm going to get a water pick and use it every day, do it. Because when you go in, your cleaning goes so much better. Your gums don't hurt as bad. But also, you'll, you'll heal faster because you won't have so much infection in there. So we want you to start at a one or two. Every time you use it, turn it up one number until you get to the six or seven. You can leave it at the six or seven or you can go to an eight. There's really no need for anybody to go to a 10. I mean, I have patients that use it on a 10. I don't really care that they do. There's really no need for it. Unless you wanna use one of these other tips that have little bristles on them, then you can crank it up a little bit more so you make sure you're getting the right amount of pressure coming out of there hitting the tooth, okay? So I'm gonna fill this up and kind of show you how to fill it up. And then we'll get into demonstrating fully how to use this bad boy. Once you get your pressure up to where you want or even when you start, when you're starting, you're going to take this off of here. Do not turn this on until this part is in your mouth, okay? If, you turn the, if this is on and you turn this on, and mine's not plugged in right now, but if you turn this on, there's gonna be water spraying out of the end of this. And wherever this tip is pointing, it's spraying. So if it's not in your mouth, your bathroom's getting soaked, you're getting soaked, something's getting soaked and you're gonna be pissed. So to avoid that and avoid the mess, keep this off. Turn this on, put this in your mouth. You're gonna lean over the sink, head down into the sink, eyes looking into the sink. Lips around this like a straw. Everything you do, you're gonna do it by feel. You're not gonna stand up and smile and watch yourself use your water pick because the water has no place to go but everywhere, okay? So that's not the point of this. It's to do it by feel and get really good at it. Again, it's gonna take practice, but it's doable. So once this is on, this is on, this is in your mouth, your head over the sink, you're ready to go. So you take it and you're gonna hook it behind one of your back teeth and start top, bottom, left, right, nobody cares, inside, outside. But you're going to 
hook it back here, and I usually pull mine out towards my ear a little bit just to kind of cut the angle. And I also, when I brush my teeth, when I do those back molars, I pull my toothbrush out the same way. So I hook it back there, and then I trace the gum line, fall in between the teeth, and I count to three. One, two, three. And then I'm gonna trace, pause, and count to three. 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 My hair is getting in my mouth. So you're pointing this straight at the tooth. You do not need to point this into the gum tissue. Do not do that. It is designed to point straight on here. Trace and count. One, two, three. Trace and count. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Around the back one. One, two, three. And then you come across the entire inside. And then you go down to the bottom and either do your outsides first and then your insides or your insides first and then your outsides. So if you come around the inside, same thing. So it's the same motion as the outside. It's just you're on the inside. And you're just clicking across the teeth. If you trace this, your teeth, this tip falls right in between that space. Right around there. So you come around the inside, then you go down the bottom, same thing, all the way around. Now, when I get to my front teeth, when I'm down in the sink, I put my lips around this pretty much closed. Because it's spraying water and it's in the front and it's gonna come out of my lips. Now the thing to remember is your head is always forward. The water's always in the front of your mouth. It never goes down to the back of your throat and never gonna make you feel like you're choking. Unless you directly spray this into your throat and you're gonna feel like you're choking. Otherwise, everything lays in the front, you can just do that, and the water runs right out of the side of your mouth, right into the sink. So then when you're done, and all the water's empty out of here, and it's done running, because you want to go through the entire reservoir, this off, boom, put it into here, and shut this off, or shut this off, put it in here, whatever. And then that's it. You're done. So you can either do this before you brush, you can do this after you brush, you can do this in the morning, you can do this at night, you can do this in the afternoon. I personally don't care when you do it. I just want you to use it, preferably every day of your life. So if you're going to not ever pick up a string of floss, because the truth is it's very ineffective, string flossing, our teeth have curvatures on them, there's concavities on them, the floss barely reaches three millimeters underneath the gum tissue. This shoots water up to six, seven millimeters under the gum tissue, and then you get your pickpocket and it can go to 12 millimeters under the gum tissue. Your floss will never reach those surfaces of the teeth. It's literally impossible to get it down in there because your teeth aren't flat. They're not flat surfaces and you can just take a string and clean it. You're leaving behind bacteria. So if you have a four millimeter pocket around your teeth, guess what? You're leaving bacteria behind because your floss can't reach that. A water pit can reach that. This is why we recommend them all the time, every day to every patient. They're the best tool to keep those root surfaces of your teeth clean, keep bacteria flushed out, and keep your gums healthy. We don't want bleeding, we don't want inflammation, we don't want infection. That's the whole goal. So let's demo live, sort of, how to do this 100%. We're gonna close the lid and we're gonna be ready to go.
So that's it. That's how simple it should be and that's all the mess that you should make. Everything should be coming out of the front of the, your mouth. Nothing should be all over the bathroom. So it's just literally all by feel and just running it around your mouth. So Waterpick only, recommends only using warm water. Um, they don't re really recommend putting mouthwash in there. It's unnecessary because that wand is creating oxygen along with the water spray and the oxygen when it goes under the gum tissue it's killing bacteria that live without oxygen because there is no oxygen under your gum tissue. So it's pumping it with oxygen. So that is ultimate killer of big bad bacteria that want to bury themselves into the gum tissue. Once in a while, I myself will put a little bit of peroxide in there and a little bit, I mean, a little bit in the bottom of the reservoir. You could do two capfuls really, and then the rest water. And again, what that does is just create more oxygen and just helps kill more bacteria. Further questions, obviously shoot me a message, shoot me an email. If you have any problems with the unit, meaning it doesn't work, it shuts off, it, the motor dies down, anything that goes wrong, call Waterpick. Call them, they'll get the number off of there and they'll see because there are defective units that happen that sometimes in the manufacturing, just things don't get manufactured the same, even though it's the same unit but help you figure out how to replace it. If they don't replace it for you, they will figure out a way to help you get a new one. So please reach out to them with any questions. They also have demonstration videos on their website that actually with, like, it just gives you kind of an animated picture of what's going on. And again, like I said before, um, when you use it, it's just when it works best for you. A lot of people, it works in their morning routine and they'll do it in the morning because they're too tired or lazy, I should, we should say, at night to do it. So just do it in the morning when you have the time. Like I do mine at night because I'm never, I'm always rushed for time in the morning. So I have more time at night, I do mine at night. It's part of my routine and that's that. So, you know, I, like I said, if you don't floss every day with a piece of string, I don't care. Use your water pick. So it'll tremendously help you out.